This Bible in a year reading is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 23 and 24. Chapter 23. A man shall not marry his father's wife, nor shall he dishonor his father's bed. Membership in the assembly. No one whose testicles have been crushed or whose penis has been cut off may come into the assembly of the Lord. No one born of an illicit union may come into the assembly of the Lord, nor any descendant of such, even to the tenth generation, may come into the assembly of the Lord. No Ammonite or Moabite may ever come into the assembly of the Lord, nor may any other descendants, even to the tenth generation, come into the assembly of the Lord, because they would not come to meet you with food and water on your journey after you left Egypt, and because they hired Balaam, son of Beor, from Pethor, and Aram, Naharim, to curse you. The Lord your God would not listen to Balaam, but turn his curse into a blessing for you, because the Lord your God loves you. Never seek their welfare or prosperity as long as you live. Do not abhor the Edomite, for he is your brother. Do not abhor the Egyptian. You were a resident alien in his country. Children born to them may come into the assembly of the Lord in the third generation. Cleanliness in camp. When in camp during an expedition against your enemies, you shall keep yourselves from anything bad. If one of you becomes unclean because of a nocturnal emission, he shall go outside the camp. He shall not come back into the camp. Toward evening he shall bathe in water. Then when the sun has set, he may come back into the camp. Outside the camp you shall have a place set aside where you shall go. You shall keep a trowel in your equipment, and when you go outside to relieve yourself, you shall dig a hole with it and then cover your excrement. Since the Lord your God journeys along in the midst of your camp to deliver you and to give your enemies over to you, your camp must be holy so that he does not see anything indecent in your midst and turn away from you. Various precepts. You shall not hand over to your master any slaves who have taken refuge with you from their master. Let them live among you. In any place they choose, in any one of your communities that seems good to them, do not oppress them. There shall be no temple prostitute among the Israelite women, nor a temple prostitute among the Israelite men. You shall not offer a prostitute's fee for a dog's pay, as any kind of votive offering in the house of the Lord your God. Both of these things are an abomination to the Lord your God. You shall not demand interest from your kindred on the loan of money or of food of anything else which is loaned. From a foreigner you may demand interest, but you may not demand interest from your kindred, so that the Lord your God may bless you in all your undertakings on the land you are to enter and possess. When you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay in fulfilling it for the Lord your God. You shall not delay in fulfilling it, for the Lord your God will surely require it of you, and you will be held guilty. Should you refrain from making a vow, you will not be held guilty, but whatever your tongue utters, you must be careful to do, just as you freely vow to the Lord your God with your own mouth. When you go through your neighbor's vineyard, you may eat as many grapes as you wish until you are satisfied, but do not put them in your basket. When you go through your neighbor's grain field, you may pluck some of the ears with your hand, but do not put a sickle in your neighbor's grain. Chapter 24 Marriage Legislation When a man after marrying a woman is later displeased with her because he finds in her something indecent, and he writes out a bill of divorce and bans hands it to her, thus dismissing her from his house. If on leaving his house she goes and becomes the wife of another man, and the second husband too comes to dislike her, and he writes out a bill of divorce and hands it to her, thus dismissing her from his house. Or if the second man who has married her dies, then her former husband who dismissed her may not again take her as his wife after she has become defiled. That would be an abomination before the Lord. You shall not bring such guilt upon the land the Lord your God is giving you as a heritage. When a man is newly wed, he shall not go out on a military expedition. Nor shall any duty be imposed on him. 
he shall be exempt for one year for the sake of his family to bring joy to the wife he has married. Pledges and kidnappings, no one shall take the hand mill or even its upper stone as a pledge for debt, for that would be a taking as they pledge the debtor's life. If anyone is caught kidnapping a fellow Israelite, enslaving or selling the victim, that kidnapper shall be put to death. Thus you, shall you purge the evil from your midst. And in an attack of scaly infection, you shall be careful to observe exactly and to carry out all the instructions the Le Levitical priests give you as I have commanded them. Observe them carefully. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam on the journey after he left Egypt. When you make a loan of any kind to your neighbor, you shall not enter the neighbor's house to receive the pledge, but shall wait outside until the person to whom you are making the loan brings the pledge outside to you. If the person is poor, you shall not sleep in the pledged garment, but shall definitely return it at sunset so that your neighbor may sleep in the garment and bless you. That will be your justice before the Lord your God. You shall not exploit a poor and needy hired servant. Whether one of your own kindred or one of the resident aliens who live in your land within your gates, on each day you shall pay the servant's wages before the sun goes down, since the servant is poor and counting on them. Otherwise the servant will cry to the Lord against you, and you will be held guilty. Parents shall not be put to death for their children, nor shall children be put to death for their parents. Only for one's own crime shall a person be put to death. Rights of the unprotected, you shall not deprive the resident alien or the orphan of justice, nor take the clothing of a widow as pledge. For remember, you were slaves in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you from there. That is why I commanded you to do this. When you reap the harvest in your field and overlook a sheep in the field, you shall not go back to get it. Let it be for the resident alien, the orphan, and the widow so that the Lord your God may bless you in all your undertakings. When you knock down the fruit of your olive trees, you shall not go over the branches a second time. Let what remains be for resident alien, the orphan, and the widow. When you pick your grapes, you shall not go over the vineyard a second time. Let what remains be for the resident alien, the orphan, and the widow. For remember, that you were slaves in the land of Egypt. That is why I command you to do this. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And I love you.